I do believe in good and evil. Yuri Bezmenov, have you ever watched Yuri Bezmenov videos? The XKGB I've defector? watched a couple. Okay, he talks about ideological subversion. He talks about the steps of it. Let's divide these guys up every which way possible. And then let's start picking them apart. Let's start turning them against each other. For me, the, the biggest concern is just the cultural depravity, the, the cultural rot, destruction, whatever you want to, whatever you want to call it. Um, because, you know, it's like, uh, what, you know, I'm in, I'm in politics, but Andrew Breitbart said it a long time ago, he said, politics is always downstream of culture. So you often won't see anything. You won't often see legislation or any bills floating around Congress until years after it's been bouncing around in culture, right? Media, entertainment, um, et cetera, and just people's day-to-day -day lives. And that's uh, – and, and because I'm a Christian and because I, I read the Bible, I, you know, I do, I do believe in good and evil. Mm -hmm. um, and a lot of this stuff I see – you know, I just, I have no other context for it than, you know, this stuff is, this stuff is wrong. This stuff is wicked. Um, and even, you know, even when I talk about culture, not all, you know, and, and a lot of it, you know, to me has a, you know, a spiritual foundation, right? And then a lot of the stuff that we see in the headlines are just manifestations or a byproduct of that, you know, the, the spiritual th side of things. And I know a lot of people are like, "Well, oh, what are you talking about? You're cra you're crazy." That's okay. Um, I don't need every I don't need to for everybody to believe everything or agree with everything I say. I'm just gonna tell people what I what I really think. Um, but even outside of the you know the spiritual aspect of our cultural unraveling, um, there's also the the cultural side. Um, like the totalitarian bent, the communist bent, the socialist bent within our culture, right? Mm -hmm. um, if you go, like if, if your viewers go um, start studying up on cultural Marxism, right? If, if they go start watching Yuri, Yuri Bezmenov, have you ever watched Yuri Bezmenov videos? The XKGB? I've defector? watched a couple. Okay, he talks about ideological subversion. He talks about the steps of it, how long it takes. You know, <clears throat> um, I believe that a lot of you know w a lot of what's going on in America right now, it's the it's the old basic a house divided cannot stand, mm -hmm. right? Let's let's divide these guys up every which way possible, and then and then let's start picking them apart. Let's start mm -hmm. turning them against each other. And that's what I see. That's what I see. I think that's the biggest problem because I think that if we were more united as Americans and less divided, I think that there's nothing that we couldn't, that we couldn't overcome or defeat. But because we've fallen prey to some of this, you know, this cultural Marxism, and there are a bunch of, there are several words for it. Um, you know, that's, you know, I think that's one of the most, um, at least in my opinion, accurate depictions of it. Um, there's a guy named uh, Dr. Vodi Bakum. He doesn't look anything like me. He's a big black preacher. Um, was going to play pro football, but then, uh, you know, he, he got influenced and ended up going into ministry. Went to like uh, Oxford a bunch of, you know, uh, uh, very impressive schools, very impressive resume. And he, he's actually one of the few preachers that I've heard talk about cultural issues. And uh, in, in one of the interviews I heard him give, he talked about how he was invited on CNN one time when Obama was president. Mm -hmm. And uh, they asked him, do you think the country, now that there's a, you know, finally a black president, do you think the the, the culture is going to be, more united and he said absolutely not and they were blown away because he's a black guy and he's like because barack obama um is a cultural marxist like many of his teachers before him and he i think he mentioned jeremiah wright one of the pastors that obama said under for a long time 
And so when you when you start to when you start to look at Marxism, um, traditional Marxism, they divide us up by economics, the haves, the have nots, the proletariat and the bourgeoisie, right? And they try and divide us up based on he, the, the rich and the poor. That didn't work here in the West because of capitalism. And even the guy that was considered, you know, low, you know, lower or middle class felt like, hey, I'm doing okay, man. I can, yeah. you know, I can buy a house, I can buy a car if I if I make wise choices and I can provide for my family, I'm, I'm doing okay. Um, so that traditional Marxism didn't work here in the US. What has worked is cultural Marxism. So you start, you just start manipulating the ingredients, right? You take the economics out of it. And that's still there a little bit, but it's not, it's not really as effective. You'll see little doses of it here and there, but what you'll really see with cultural Marxism is you start making it about dividing us up via race and ethnicity. Boom. Now we got them. Sexuality. Uh, a lot. A lot. Yeah. Politically. And just, right. And, and you can go really deep into this. I mean, there's a lot of, a lot of folks that talk about this, you know, Ben Shapiro will talk about it, intersectionality, Charlie, you know, Charlie Kirk's there's, you, you can go listen to a bunch of, you know, this cultural division and its origins from many different people. And I've listened to a, a bunch of it, but that's my, that's one of my biggest c concerns because I know that that's even in the military, that's one of the, you know, the tactics that we use divide and conquer, right? Split them up. Yeah. And then they're easier, they're easier to attack. I mean, I've talked about this several times and, and, and the thing that I can't ever get to the bottom of is where is this shit coming from? I mean, cause you're right. It's, 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 it's right versus left. It's rich versus poor. It's black versus white. It's it's gay and not gay, trans and not trans. I mean, it it there's more. I, I can't. I just can't think of them all. But it's it's native it's literally, born, native born, foreign born. Yep. You know, uh, there there's you know there's so there's so many ways that you can divide us up, and that's that's what that's what's being done to our culture. Um, and it's, you know, it, it's, like I said, I think it's besides the, 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 the spiritual rot, which I think is the foundation of it all. Um, you know, where's this shit coming from? Is so, this, yeah. is this from foreign influence? Hey everybody, I'm Sean Ryan. Click here to subscribe to the Sean Ryan show YouTube channel for the hottest and most compelling interviews that you will not see anywhere else. I've also made a playlist of all the previous SRS episodes so they're easy to find. You can find that right here.